A very good morning to you. You are watching Newsline on TV One this morning with me, Chaturanga Parachi. Now, as promised, we have been talking about the Singapore-Sri Lanka free trade agreement for the past three days on almost all of our programs, and uh, we are trying to highlight these issues that have been put out by the professional bodies in Sri Lanka with regard to this particular free trade agreement. Now, if I am to take you uh, through what happened for the past two days now. Uh, this particular FTA had been signed in January 2018, but it has not been ratified in Parliament as of yet. Uh, but when details of this particular FTA came out to uh, the media and to the general public, several professional bodies uh, came out and took this particular FTA to the Supreme Court. Seven cases have been filed, as per my understanding, and uh, this particular document contains about 1,083 pages and a lot of professional bodies, including uh, the professional body of the gentleman we are going to talk to today, uh, raised concerns over the, uh, the liberalization of services. Uh, a lot of issues have been raised. Today, too, we are going to uh, talk to the president of the Sri Lanka Institute of Architects, Dr. Vijayawardhana. Good morning to you, sir. Uh, I must correct. I'm not doctor. I'm D.H. Vijayawardhana. D.H. Vijayawardhana. Yeah. I beg your pardon. Uh, thank you very much for being here yeah. this morning. Uh, and uh, <coughs> once again, uh, Mr. Vijayawardhana, we see that uh, the professional bodies have come forward with regard to a free trade agreement that has been signed in our country. Now, uh, we know that... Uh, there are issues in the liberalization, how mode 1, 2, 3 and 4 uh, affects Sri Lanka. And uh, as you have been telling, the issue starts right at the top from the explanatory notes that have been put in the free trade agreement. What is your explanation? Yeah, let me first tell that, you know, the Sri Lanka Institute of Architects is always ready to work with the government, with their policies. We are not against government or we are not against the policies of the government. Because we are an independent institution looking after the interest of this country and also the looking after the interest of our professionals. So, because some people, just for the sake of uh, making opposition to various things, well, we don't want to do that. So what we are saying is, now, actually these agreements, as you know, the GATS agreement, if you are signing agreement with another sovereign nation, we have to follow the GATS agreement because we are part of WTO. So when you do that, the GATS agreements are very, uh, very, uh, they are very well planned and they are rule-based agreements. You say the rule-based, there are rules uh, coupled with that. So these are rule-based agreements. So when you try to agree on a certain, uh, certain items with a, with a country, so we actually had initial discussions with the government and we said, you know, before you do anything, make sure that Sri Lankan situation is in par, at least to some extent, with other countries. So in that sense, the negotiation should have happened in a very, very professional way. True. So if you see that, you know, the way we have handled it, and we told them very clearly that we would like to see, it, not the whole thing, I know there's certain certain amount of uh, 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 not clear, I mean, you can't show the entire agreement, so secrecy must be maintained, that we know. But the main things that we should have discussed initially, uh, because if you look at these agreements, unless and uh, until you are really agreeing on what you agree on with both countries, very dif eventually, after signing, it is very difficult to to uh, to change these things because these are two sovereign nations uh, agreeing on certain things. Mm. So that what what is important in the, the discussion time, the the negotiation time is extremely important. True. But uh, now you mentioned about the expiry notes. If you see the document, the expiry notes of Singapore, and expiry note of Sri Lanka, you see you know you have about six seven items in the Singapore side and Sri Lanka side has only one. Mm. So that's the issue. The basic issue is that now if you see the Singapore, we can't blame a country because that's, that's, they, they know what they are doing. CB seems to be not, not doing what we are doing just for the sake of uh, thinking that we can get investment like that. So we just, uh, I know the intention of the government is good, but then still we have to be very careful when you do that. Now if you see the Singapore side, the explanatory notes, it very clearly says that if, if, if the government is giving concessions on, on certain uh, subsidies, on certain, uh, certain loans, 
and certain insurance scheme for professionals or in that matter whoever the party concerned yeah. that will be above this agreement. Mm. So say supposing now the government decides, the Singapore government decides to give certain concession like for professionals say the, the software at a concession rate by the government which we don't, we, we don't get. But then we can't argue. Then the, then the service supplier of the Singapore is a very bit good advantage in that sense. But then when, you, when they say that, we should have said something similar. I mean, we are capable of buying software. Compared to the Singapore architect buying software, you know, it's very quite different. So these are the areas we have overlooked. Hmm. So this, the filling the blanks, you cannot do now. That's the problem. Uh, Mr. Vijayawardana, when it comes to uh, negotiations, obviously the government or uh, the ministry has to get all the stakeholders involved. Now, we see when professionals raise allegations, the ministry issued a release and said, no, we have actually spoken to all uh, these uh, institutions that are now having a problem. Were you consulted before regarding the free trade agreement? Yeah, we had something called the United Professional Movement, UPS. So UPM, where all the professionals were there at that time. I, I'm, I'm afraid it's not so now, but still, we actually consulted, in a sense, we went to a couple of meetings. Mm -hmm. You know, we went to a couple of meetings and there we identified the two things. That's the, what we had to do at a national level and what we should do at the institutional level. Right. The national level, there are many issues like the immigration laws and, and you know, the we had to see the human capital requirement for Sri Lanka and what we are lacking in these things. And also various other aspects of national level, we don't have a trade policy. Mm. If you see other countries, there are huge trade policies up to, if you look at India, the trade policy document is a, is a big one, it goes up to 2025. So we don't have anything like that. So we said, let's have all that, we will support. And then institution level, certain institutions, they are, you know, actually engineers institutes certain had problems and our uh, we have a parliament act and uh, there are also certain issues are there. So we said let's do all that. So government said they want to uh, do it fast. Okay, we said no problem. You do your negotiation with the, with the government and we do this side and also we said we would like to see what we are going to really agree with this government. So, actually discussions happen, but uh, I must say at the initial stages, the, the ministry was very cooperative and I must, you know, good things are good, we must say always. So, earlier we had a very good uh, negotiation, uh, both sides agreed, but then it fell apart halfway when it came to the most important part. You know, when you agree on schedules, we never saw the schedules and we never, we were never consulted. Uh, in that aspects and you will agree that you know how can officials of government you know nothing about the practice of architecture in Sri Lanka and go and discuss on behalf of Sri Lanka with another another country we, we know what are the problems we have in our profession maybe in other profession problem that Sri Lankan citizens have getting architectural services all mm. those things must be considered before we sign the agreements true Mr. Vijayawardana now another point is that uh, the liberalization. Uh, we spoke about this at length, but I want to talk to you as well now. Since you're the president of the SLIA, architects are also in the basket that gets affected as a result of this free trade agreement. So I want to take your attention to that as well. Now the ministry says, no, look, only executives and managers will be brought into the country. But uh, professional bodies, especially architects have come forward and said no you all have liberalized uh, according to the classification cpc classifications uh, to the level where laborers and drivers will also come into the country through this fta what is your opinion no i told you this uh, gets agreements are very scientific and they are rule based you know if you have initially had explanatory notes where both countries declare you know basically now for example singapore has said we are only allowing to work on the, uh, uh, not on state land. So 90% of state land is, is state land in Singapore. We haven't said anything. We have, I, it, it, it's uh, it, nothing on our side. So if you see the, there are other things, there are four modes, you know, the mode one, mode two, mode three, mode four. So when, when those things are there, then you have, that's called the vertical commitments, then also horizontal commitments. Horizontal, the vertical commitments, say, vertical commitments, you say, 
you supply services. I, I supply services to Singapore from staying here. I don't go there. Cross-border. Cross-border, cross-border supply. So the cross-border supply, then then we have liberalized fully that. And also... Uh, Corporate presence. Yeah, not not that. Then we, 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 we get services from Singaporeans mm. from staying here. You know, go. you don't provide, but you go there and buy it and come back. So yeah. that's a mode two. Uh, that's also fully liberalized. Now, if you see, then in this, uh, this agreements provides the horizontal commitment. There you see what are the commitments uh, that we can, we can always put down, you know, we yeah. can put down our side of the story, what we really want. And Singapore actually has opened up the mode three and four for e even architecture. So they have, we said, they have, they have said 51% should be owned by Singaporeans and so all these things are very clearly laid down. But we have not opened up mode 3 and mode 4, we have said unbound. Unbound means we are not, we are not clear on that. So, but then the, what has happened is this filling these schedules. We have been very, 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 it's, it's blank. So when you say say now that then uh, there's something called in this agreement most preferred nations. Mm. Now say if you say for example in architecture, now you don't have ma very many naval architects in Sri Lanka. So that's the issue we identified. But say we opened up the in, uh, the actual investment sector, all three modes have been almost open. So then in that sense, say if you see architecture, then there's sub subcategory maybe for example we take uh, naval architecture so we don't have ma very many naval architects in Sri Lanka right. this is a case here yeah so the in in this uh, most preferred nations category in such a situation there are provisions hmm. you open up say naval architects for example do you open up they can come and say work here hmm. but in the, uh, the most preferred nations category it really says up to five years you stop them coming so up to two years stop them coming. So that agreement provides that two years they don't come. But in the meantime, within that two years or five years, we develop the naval architects here so that we become in par with them. Yes. You know, the, these provisions, all the provisions are there in these agreements. The problem is those who go to negotiate, then they have to see, you know, where we stand, what we should agree, what we can put aside. And what should be delayed? So those things we had to work out. So the issue is the negotiate this because the, these agreements negotiations are extremely important Definitely. because once you sign, you sign. It. Yes. Yeah. So this is what we say. Why didn't they call us? Why didn't they ask us? How can those who don't know about architecture, engineering, and IT IT sector? How can they go and negotiate? Mm. Though, though that is the issue. You know, the, especially the agreement. What we see is. It's an incomplete agreement when it comes to Sri Lankan side. Mm. So who is responsible for that? The fact that it is incomplete? There's obviously people who went there. It, it, it's because we were ready to go. And in fact, I think our, our, this, our engineers and our professionals said that give us a seat. Mm. I think they have, they, they have given a seat in the good sector. Service sector, we said give us a seat. So we will be just observe. We don't want to negotiate at that time. So we know what they went through. But that was not allowed. I mean, I don't know why, you know, that, that's because we, 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 we are not against the government. We are not against the investment. Mm. We are not against foreign architects coming here. Those who are good, yeah, we can learn. Not all. So that is the issue. Because the knowledge transfer, if you look at what has happened, if you go out from the, all these uh, free trade agreements, you see what has happened is country. We, we built airports, we built national theatres. So now no, no, we didn't get the know-how transfer. You know, that, that, that's the issue. When you build the first uh, airport in, in Sri Lanka, not a single architect worked with them to know how the knowledge transfer is happening. So that we, we know, we, we, we don't say we know everything, we can do everything, um, Sri Lankan architects are capable, any project, we don't take that stand. We know that at, if you look at Singapore, it's a technically advanced country, you know, that's one of the, uh, and Singapore, I must tell you, the, it has the best uh, architectural act in the world. Right. You know, in Singapore, you can't build a pump house with an architect. They have gone to that extent. That's why that country is so nice. Because the professionals are recognized and uh, they have professional, uh, a seat in the parliament for a professional. I know one of our 
colleagues in Singapore, she was uh, uh, she was there in the parliament as a member. So they expressed their concerns. So that's that openness. Uh, you know, get ideas from the professionals. Must be in part of the system. Well, Mr. Vijayawardena, now uh, when you say that. Uh the ministry was initially cooperating with you when it comes to this free trade agreement and all of a sudden the cooperation uh, declined, if I may put it that way. Why do you think there was a reason for this to be hurried in this manner and why did you think that if you say that the uh, FTA was incomplete from our point of view or as Sri Lanka, from the Sri Lankan part, uh, why do you think they went into this agreement at this particular time? Is there a reason that you may... Have that, you of course, I don't know. Maybe they must have agendas. I, we know that government needs investment. Hmm. Government, you know, we are in a really a debt crisis. We all know that. So, as a solution, we fully agree. We don't disagree. You know, we are not, a, we are not, a, we are not against everything. Hmm. Some, some, there are organizations, whatever the government does, they disagree. We are not that. We know. Hmm. But what we are saying is, for sake of getting investment, you go and sign a document which has far-reaching effects in the future. It's a very foolish thing. Well, you don't. I mean, investment comes to to have investment to come. There are so many other things incorporated. Mm -hmm. So I I, we, I don't know why they uh, rushed in. Uh, but uh, now, for example, uh, now there are other two. Our, our main worry is uh, plus this FTA, but other FTA they are going to sign. sign they are going to sign with uh, the minister very clearly said they are going to sign with uh, India, we are going to sign with China. And one day we were called our engineers and we were called in for a discussion and say why uh, we were asked to recognize the Chinese degrees and diplomas. You know, the, 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 so, so we said, okay. We can recognize, but let's have our side right. Let's our institutions get the proper standard. Then we can negotiate. So we, we actually declined. Uh, I must say the that time the UGC chairman uh, he actually accepted our vision and and at that at that time it also. Now what happens is when we express something and we said we should do that, but leaving all our thoughts aside, the government goes and signs this. That's 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 the that's issue here. So they did not uh, consider the points that were brought forward by the professionals at the yes. time. Yesterday um, evening uh, we saw on the news that the UPM had uh, convened a media briefing and a lot of valuable points with regard to the FTA was mentioned. One point uh, that was mentioned is that uh, the government initially agreed to three points, a framework for the human uh, the rights of the professionals in the country, mm. uh, human, the, capital. Uh, human capital, mm. uh, making sure that a feasibility study will be carried out in terms of the loss to assess the loss in the country, so on and so forth. Now, uh, as you said, if you initially go through the idea behind this free trade agreement and the concept, the opinion of the government, it all sounds good. But when you go delve deeper into these 1,083 pages that uh, has been set up, then you understand that there is actually a problem. So, in any case, as the president of the SL, SLIA, as a citizen of this country, do you think the people have been deceived? Mm, I don't. I, I don't say that because it's it's, it's not uh, deceiving us. Not may not be the right word. Your intentions are good. I know the intentions are good, but the way they have done is wrong. That's the problem. I told you now, 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 I, the <coughs> government says, you know, we can't wait, all these laws are in place, you know, we had to go fast. Yeah. Agree. Yeah. But you could uh, use that prob that issue when you're signing, I told you, you know, these are very rule-based agreements. If you have issue, if you have issue with your certain people, certain category of people, there's a provision to stop them for two years, I told you, yeah. or five years. Yeah. In the meantime, the government should okay propagate, you know, cultivate so that that category of people will be there after two years. But but once you sign agreements, or oh, you can't just uh, take it for granted, you know, okay, nothing will happen because every country. Now, what did what did the Singapore government and then made? They have made a press statement, you know, they are saving 19 billion out of this. Yes. Right, they said no. Yes. So, can we say we are saving 20 billion no, or we are getting 20 billion investment? Mm -hmm. we, we didn't say anything. Because we can't say anything because our systems are not in place. We can't do that. Because, and especially, I mean, if, if, the, if the 
they said that they are going to they, it was in, earlier to India but then all of a sudden Singapore came if they said they are going to sign with Singapore we should have taken an extreme care because it's a very well advanced country if you see the the, 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 the projects that Singaporean architects and projects that we expose to that sort of projects are quite different hmm. so there has to be uh, now they say okay provide services from Sri Lanka to Singapore look at how many architects are using in this country the proper software so can we buy those software the latest ones and what is the Singapore inside has done you know the this software business game uh, about 10 15 years ago the Singapore Institute along with the government developed their own software to yes. face these challenges you know so they they have all good software, licensed software. So can I use, I mean, can, can an architect here who, who borrowed some software from somewhere and they do that, the, the, the design, and send it to Singapore, he will get caught <laughs> because he's using something, something not really pirated. Yes. pirated. So this is, these, these are the aspects. Issues, yes. You know, when you say, okay, you know, see, when you open that, well, say okay, the Sri Lankan architects, engineers will be given a concession. Mm -hmm. Now they have very clear said if subsidies are given to Singaporean professionals in the agreement, explain notes. So it is above the law, above this agreement. Now we haven't said that. Now having done that, if we say now later on we realize, my God, now we had signed this. You know, our architects, engineers, they have no money to buy software, so we'll give concession. Singapore an object. You haven't mentioned in your explain note. No, these are the issues, you know, these are the issues, which I don't think official... But did you, did, did you all, when you had the opportunity, the, the limited amount of meetings that you all had uh, as per the idea that we get, did you all raise these issues with the Ministry of the... Didn't, we didn't go to that extent, no. We didn't go to that extent. We were initially happy with, you know, what they say, okay, correct these things, we'll, 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 and, and I think the, it was always said that they will uh, show us the document and it will go to the parliament and discuss thereafter. So actually we, we were looking one side and other side something else is happening. Mm. So uh, we haven't had the chance to see any of these documents. Uh, now we also know that when it comes to uh, matters like architecture, uh, engineering, uh, there are val jobs that have uh, high reputation here in Sri Lanka and across the world. Now. You also say that uh, this transfer of knowledge is a good thing. Uh, without a free trade agreement with a country, uh, can there be such knowledge transfer? Yes, why not? So, if... if you know, you, you must listen to the uh, Mahathir Mohammed who just got the, the, the Prime, Prime Minister of, of Malaysia. Malaysia. Just see what is mentioned. He said, I, we don't want investment, you know, where people, they can be huge buildings which Malaysians can't buy, someone else come and buy, we don't want that investment. He very clearly states, you know, that, that's, that's, the, that's the political statement he's making. You know, here also you get now, now we have huge developments coming, entirely capital is from them. Sri Lankans can't buy even a, even a handbag from those shops. So what's the point? The, the thing that you said, the knowledge transfer, you know, knowledge transfer need not to have now, for, I will tell you some example. You know, when China did the Olympics, they got world famous architects to do all their building. But one, 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 one thing they said, you have to have a joint venture with the Chinese architect. So the knowledge transfer happens. Mm. So you don't have, you don't need FTS to do that. Government must take a stand. So now we, we, build, we build this, uh, the National Theatre of Sri Lanka. We have, some people are really proud. I, as architects, we can't be proud because we, I, I, when I went to a certain conference in Japan, they showed that your national uh, monument, the, 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 the cultural buildings in various countries, Sri Lanka, it was shown the, 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 what we have, the Nelum Pokuna, and it says designed by, by a foreigner, and we have 2,600 years of history, our, our national theatre is designed by a foreigner, I mean, as, as, as a president of the institute, that's not uh, good with me. You know, this is the knowledge transfer should happen. Mm. That's the issue. Once again, the free trade agreement that we are talking about, uh, I, I have to ask you this question. I, I did with everyone who came here. Uh, professionals have an issue because are they worried about their job security? 
to some extent yes because uh, you know now they say the mode 1 and mode 2 and in investment mode 3 and 4 is open the the what they say the government uh, says is uh, it is only up to the supplying schematic designs what mm. you call schematic designs is initial design you get to get the 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 clients whatever the approvals and so there's a there's a need maybe there's a need from that side okay when the investment investor comes to sri lanka mm. he may come with uh, with his uh, you know in uh, the the that's that the intention again the intention is good you know it comes with the the schematic design mm. okay now we should have put qualifying statements in our agreement when when he comes with the uh, the schematic design to sri lanka and if we think that we can continue with that schematic design in sri lanka so how much what a price we had to pay for that person and what's a, what's what sort of uh, franchise we, we had to pay for that person so those things could i easily i told you there are certain columns where you can qualify these things then you can say you know this when you when same way you can say in the, the when supplying services architect services to sir thanks sense once that person comes and sri lanka it will be the property of something something you know you know how to word it you word know it word it so that so those things are not there now when they come with a singaporean design here whether our architects will be able to develop this is a big question they will say okay pay so many thousands of dollars to get it so then then when we say you know we don't have the capacity of okay, then they have to bring some other people from there and do it it's it's a open gate so we have at certain place we had a barriers hmm. so that barriers are not there they just open and it let it go so that is because the people who negotiated this is no they don't know what happens after schematic design how it is architecture develop how the structural engineers come in all those things must be in line at which point we should put a gate you know those that is the issue you know what we are saying and what we request the government now whatever happen we can try to correct it but when you sign agreements with other countries please at least now start that dialogue we talk to us see what is wrong with previous one and we are preparing a document the uh, engineers architects and contractors we are preparing a document to submit to the government these are the mistakes you have done don't do it at the next time but you know there's a issue there because when you sign these gets agreements mm. if you give a concession to one say, country one country if you say if you give concession if you don't give concession to singapore but if you give same concession to india all country should be treated, treated equal so we have to give that and and mind you in in the in the singapore side they have very clearly stated that we haven't stated that so these yeah, are the issues pointing the finger at us yeah yeah that's the thing that that's the thing so that because they are in singapore they are expert on this now mm. so we have should have gone with experts on this side and negotiated that is the basic issue here uh, mr vijayawardhan uh, finally now you say when <coughs> the airport here was constructed the architects uh, did not get a knowledge transfer when the theater was constructed uh, same issue but we see parliamentarians going abroad talking to foreigners talking to foreign parliaments going and holding workshops but this knowledge transfer doesn't seem to be happening in that area the our parliaments remain our parliamentarians and the other countries develop don't you agree certainly yes because uh, now if you see this uh, become a minister in singapore you have to have masters degree and 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 that's the that's the bottom line you know and this uh, and this uh, we we because it's uh, running a country today is running a business mm. right so if you know the business tactics the knowledge uh, if you don't know if you go like a fool and uh, do various things you know other side yeah. if you look at all the other country the experts and if you don't have expert here they will say this is good that is good and we will sign and come and when you come home only we see what has gone wrong so that has to be done properly correctly i think uh, we we are we we are because we i mean but the 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 brain drain mm. people don't talk about it if you see the first class degree holders of most of the universities in sri lanka where they end up now they are the america australia england all those things but we have to set the stage do you have the confidence of the professionals then then only they will stay True. otherwise when you see you know some people go and discuss and come and we have no place in the society to serve these people of this country 
So naturally they will leave this country and then, then they shout brain, 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 and no point. Thank you, uh, Mr. Vijay Vardhana, the president of the SLIA, for joining us this uh, morning. Uh, Mr. Vijay Vardhana says you can go around the world, sign, but when you come home is when you realize what has gone wrong. So, uh, key take takeaway from uh, today's uh, discussion about the Singapore-Sri Lanka free trade agreement was that we thank Mr. D.H. Vardhana, the thank president you. of the SLIA, for being here this morning and talking to us. Uh, has been on Face the Nation this week as well. So once again, uh, to our viewers, uh, we had to sum up the issues surrounding the Singapore-Sri Lanka free trade agreement. We covered it on our prime time news bulletins as well. So we will keep you updated on what is happening with regards to this. Thank you very much for watching Newsline this morning. I've been Satranga Parachi. Take care.